welcome back to my youtube channel this is zion with moments with zion it's good to be back as always um if this is your first time stopping on this channel please i want to um ask you that you take the time to consider subscribing and after you subscribe you want to hit the notification bell that way you get notifications every time that i upload a video and if you're a re returning subscriber i want to thank you for coming back and checking out my videos so you guys i want to talk about domestic violence this is going to be i'm going to make this video as short as possible because if i want to sit here and talk about domestic violence like and go into the details everything i will be talking for hours trust me but i'm just gonna um make this as short as possible as very short as possible so god help me <laughs> um so recently i came across a video right of a guy hitting a lady in the house looks like they had some kind of altercation or something and this guy was this guy had a, a pressing iron in his hands and as I was watching the video, if I know it, this guy lifted up that iron, uh, the pressing iron, bam. I want to ask some of these men that did raise their fingers on women. What are you guys made of? Do you have sisters you're born of a woman and so it means you have a mother can you watch somebody hit your mother like that can you watch somebody hit your sister like that and for some of you that have daughters can you watch someone hit your daughter like that What will provoke you? You know, it is, it's not, it is not common sense to know that you are a man. You are stronger than a woman. Generally, you are stronger than a woman. What demon from hell will make you, will push you to raise your fist against a woman? And hit them and beat them and pound on them and beat them so mercilessly. What demon on earth will push you to do something like that? It is so cruel. You know, when I watch this video, I'm, go I'm going to play this video so you guys can watch for yourself. When I watched that video, when this guy was hitting this lady with the, with the pressing iron, I was just praying in my heart that I, I pray she's okay. If you, are, if you are a woman in a relationship and you're enduring any kind of abuse, emotional, verbal, physical, please get help. Talk to somebody make efforts to get out of that relationship when it starts to get physical don't stay in that relationship let me tell you something it is true the bible says god hates divorce that is that is the word of god that's god however when you find yourself in a, in a situation like that you don't want to be killed you don't you know a lot of these men they even end up deleting their wives. They end up K I L L I N G their wives or partners. This, the, I'm going to make a video. This, this is going to be a topic for another day. But if you find yourself, you, if you're in a relationship right now and you find yourself, I recently made a video about talking about 
about something like this. If you find yourself, you're a lady, you're a woman, you, you're in a relationship. See, see, the problem is the problem with us women is that we always want to stay because we think that we love the men so much. We always want to stay and fix things and make it work. But that most times leads us to our graves. That is the truth. We end up dying in that process. So if you're in that kind of relationship, this is the time to head out, get out. If this man has started to raise their hands against you, get out before it is too late. Because when you're dead and gone, people will cry you for a day, two, three, one week, and then you're forgotten. You're gone. That's it. That's it. Another, 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 and another one that I, 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 I recently learned about is, is a Cameroonian in Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Ohio, that shot the wife to death and turned the gun on himself and killed himself. Because obviously they separated. This, um, this Cameroonian guy, I think he's called Chris Takam. The, 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 him and the wife, they separated. And I, I guess the guy just, you know, the, um, when they when not separate I, I think they they got divorced and you know how it is in America the court awarded the house you know the guy's property to the to the and the custody of the kids to the woman and the woman got involved later on with a white guy was dating a white guy and I think moved him the guy into the house that the man was paying for and this man got angry. This black guy, this the husband, the ex-husband got angry. And was like, if I can't have you, no other man is going to have you. And have you on top of, with my property. Finally killed the girl. And turned the gun on, on himself and killed himself. Young Cameroonians. The guy's name is Chris Takam. The lady's name is Annie Takam. want to stay and make it work either for ourselves or for our children for the sake of the children and then we end up losing our lives where is she right now where is she right now she's dead and gone and the world soon is going to forget about her but she had the opportunity to leave when the abuse started women you have that opportunity to leave the opportunity to leave when abuse starts if you you, if you're getting abused by your partner, don't, don't hide it. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Seek help. Go to social workers. Talk, talk, say something. Get help. If you're not getting help, get out of the, the relationship. Get out of the house before you die. This is no joke. I'm making this video talking the way I'm talking today because it is just too much. It's become too much. Too much. Women being killed. Women being... I keep using that word killed. I just hope that Facebook is not going to... I mean, uh, not, sorry, not Facebook. I just hope that YouTube is not going to take my video down for using that word. But these women, I'm going to say they, they get... Delete, let me just use the word deleted. They get wiped out by their men, by their partners. Domestic abuse, domestic violence. It may just start with verbal abuse and then emotional abuse. 
and then before you know it, physical abuse. And then before you know it, there are no more. Somebody's dead, dead and gone. I'm going to say this again. If you are a woman, you're watching me right now, and you're in an abusive relationship, make your way out of that relationship. You're not going to die without a man. Make your way out. Save yourself. Save your children, if you have any, or if you have one or two or three. Save yourself, save your children. It's better to leave that relationship and leave long to see your children grow up and bring up your children than to um, try to stay in a relationship to stay even for the sake of the children or for the sake of trying to make things work and they end up losing your life. So if you're a woman watching me right now, please take that bold step. It's not going to be the end of the world you to live without a man in your life it's better to be that way than to lose your life trust me well guys i just wanted to share this story with you and i hope that if you're a woman you're watching me right now and you find yourself in any kind of abuse in your relationship when it starts to get physical don't even try to compromise don't trade it for anything. Don't think that mm, maybe if I stay, it's going to work. Um, maybe I can fix it. Maybe I can, you know, patch things up. Maybe it's, it's just going to work. Let me just stay in the relationship for the sake of my children or for the sake of the fact that it, this relationship can work. No! When it starts to get physical, I said, physical, get out. Get out. Get out. Well, if you're listening to me, I hope you've heard something that I've said in this video. I hope that what I've said, you will take it seriously if you find yourself in that relation, that kind of relationship that you are being abused. So on this note, I want to say thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you, guys.